you know, we're coming to a point now where where things is getting more and more volatile. And um, and pretty much, you know, these doubles are getting more and more bold, you know, and they're, they're starting to, uh, they're starting to, to, to just at, at, at will, you know, just uh, jacking, you know, Jake up. And, um, and what it is is that's the Lord Friday, JP, because everything the most I do is is uh, is concise, you know. Everything is, is precise, you know. It, it's it's uh, he he has a, a plan and a purpose, you know. So the Lord is using these devils to do that to Jake to, to raise them up, you That's know, right. to get them riled up, you know, because the prophecies have to be fulfilled. Okay. You know, today what's today's date? Uh, uh, the May tenth. May tenth. Let me see. Yeah, Thursday. May tenth. May tenth, uh, two thousand eighteen, yeah. year of prophecy. You know, so all these things have to be fulfilled before the Lord can close this this whole shit hole down. Sure. You know, so that's what's happening right now. So um, if anybody got that? I got 49? Yeah, I got it. 49. Uh, you want me to start with verse uh, eight? Read, read verse one first, and then put up verse jump eight. Down, yeah. All right, Genesis forty nine and one. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Right, because this is something that was going to happen in these times. You know, so the Lord ran down to each tribe what was gonna, what they were going to be doing in the latter times. You know, and this is part of, of the reason how you know which tribe is what based off of the characteristics that the Lord mentioned by, by each, each tribe. That's right. You know? That's only the righteous can see. That's it. That's it. Uh, verse uh, 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Right, because Judah is a head tribe. And anybody that got a problem with Judah being a head tribe or got a problem with Judah, period, that's right. they're, they're, you're done. You're yeah. finished. Yeah. You know? Right. He, he, the, out of all tribes, he bears the full, basically the full name of Yahweh. That's right. And his Yahweh's thanks, Yahweh's praise, Yahweh's done. Right. right. Um, Took the brunt of our suffering, too. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And uh, I remember the elders saying before, the Mosiah is the ultimate Judite. So you want to yeah. go ahead and start talking about Judah, Lord set him up. Yahweh Shai came out of Judah. He called him the Lion of Judah. See, we all come out of Judah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's what we're gonna get. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cut. I, I, I'll just get that real quick since since the uh, brothers quoted it. You know, what does the scripture say? You know, the scriptures uh, qualify everything. Now, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-eight, verse one. It says, "Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah." That's right. Right, so now, did, now Jacob was not Jacob the father That's right. of, of That's Judah. Right. That's right. So how did Jacob come out of the waters of Judah? That's right. That's because, right. because the Most High is, is a Judah. He would be here, the ultimate Judah. The ultimate Judah. Like right. if he was to come on the earth, you know, although the earth can't contain him, but if he was to come to the earth as a man, he would come as a Judah. That's right. right. Like that's why I said it is evident that our Lord oh, sprang out of the tribe of Judah. That's right. Because that would be... Yahweh Shah was made in an express image of, of the Most High. Right. You know, so that proves it. Because that's how, and it had to be that way. The Lord set it up that way. Like the whole thing with, because at one time, Reuben was the firstborn. Yep. You had Benjamin. Saul was the king. Yep. But then Saul went off, and King David got up in there because why? Yeah. We all come out of the waters of Judah. Yeah, even Ephraim was, was, was there, there at one time. You yep, know, and, and then the Lord, the Lord uh, uh, knocked them all down because Judah. Even though they were the fourth born, which for his mercy, right. Right. They, they had to be the head. Right. And that's how the Lord operates. That's right. Both sides you know? Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Mm -hmm. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. And that's the point right there. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. Because pretty much right now the Lord is stirring Jacob up to fight against Esau. Because not only is the, the mark of the beast being, being a, a pushed out there, which is the RFID microchip, the, uh, the, this World War III is brewing, you know, with Russia, America, and all them different nations, but also all the other prophecies are brewing, you know, the, the famines are, are coming, the race wars, That's and right. all of that. Yeah. So everything, this whole society is going to be, be broken down. Society as we know it is going to be broken down. You're not going to be able to go to the park or to the store like you, like you are a, able to do now. You ain't going to be able to go yet to get Dunkin' Donuts or your Starbucks or your Burger Kings or McDonald's after a while. You're not going to be able to, you know what, I, ha I have a taste for some spaghetti. I'm going to go to the, to the supermarket and get the ingredients so I can hook up some spaghetti. You ain't going to be able to do that. Parking lots are going to be death traps. Yeah. You're, right. You're going to have right. people sitting there waiting for you to come out to with get your food. groceries and yeah. then get you. That's right. 
follow you home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They go, if, you, if you get out the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. these are serious times. If I may, I got yeah. a, a quick, quick uh, article. Kind. You know, and I, I did a little something on this a few days ago, and it's like the, the apostles and, and the heads of Chicago, like they've been saying, we in that time, it's going to be what the prophecy is going to come to pass. It's a reason why you got these racial uh, uh, situations occurring. All right, now this was, um, I believe this was in Oklahoma. Right, Oklahoma. It was two two black men found dismembered and chained in Oklahoma pond. Mm. But not victims of hate crime, the prosecutors say. Right. But they, that's that, what they're going to say. That's what they say. But guess who it was that, that killed them? Yeah. When you read the article, it was crackers. It was two uh, brothers, their mother, and her boy, her boyfriend. And they tortured them. Mm. And that's why the, the mother, they trying to silence this. This happened about a little less than a month, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. This just happened. All right? They're trying to silence it. They're trying to silence it. She said, no, they tortured them. Right. They tortured them. There wasn't no accident. They're trying to say, no, it wasn't the hate or whatever. No, they knew. They said, we're going to kill some niggas, man. Right. But that's the time that we're in. So right. we See? accidentally put chains on them. Right. And then we accidentally tortured used a chainsaw or a machete or an axe. <laughs> and we didn't hate them to, doing that. To, we just, you know. to hack their memories yeah, we, just, off. we thought they enjoyed it. Yeah, no, right. We thought they liked it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, they they, they uh, uh, tortured them. Yeah. And, and that takes accident. a really sick mindset, too, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. And that's these crackers. Hey, you brothers do. And I got a, another article, Lord willing, if I bring it out. But you brothers get a chance. What I do sometimes when I, I either see the news or I Google racial tension or racial incidents or whatever, and every you few hours you, you always have them popping up even more frequently, man. Well, you might have, have to move it to your, move it to your car. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, because it's, it's yep. starting to pick up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yep. But we can keep so we walking can... and talking. Yeah, walk keep talking. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll pull out. Um, I'll pull out. Since you said that, this is um, Jeremiah fifty-one uh, and nineteen. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Right. It's all about. It's all about Israel at the end, and these honkies are gonna be in for a rude awakening too, man. They ain't gonna just be able to. Right now, they got the green light. This green light on you, niggas, man. That's why they slaughtering you. But eventually, the Mosai is going to rouse Judah up to the prey. That's right. All Thou right? art my battle axe and weapons of war. Right. The Lord said that Israel is his battle axe and weapons of war. The Mosai himself ain't coming to the, to this earth to fight you. That's right. Because the earth can't contain him. But like the apostle said, you know, he's going to raise raise up us. I mean, like the brother read in the scripture, he's going to raise up us to do his fighting. That's right. For with thee... Thou art my battles, acts, and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. All right, and we're going to take one second just to get into the car. Push whatever to the side. Come on, I'll just leave that out there for now. It's fine. You just going to stay out here right here? Uh, oh, no, you throw it in the trunk. Throw it in the trunk. Pop the trunk. That's in the trunk. That's what we did. All right. Bear with us, brothers. You know, we're trying to get in the car, get out the rain, because uh, we don't want our food to get jock off. All right. Hey, the spirit still this. You got to come. You know what, brother? I'm going to put it on here. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Bear you with us one second. Con. I'll keep reading since they can hear. Con, con. Um, so it says, uh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. The portion of uh, verse uh, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. Yeah, that's talking about the so-called white man and his, his army. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they sitting there boasting. You got this Donald Slump. You got him all over the place. You know, talking all this shit like, like, he, like he really want to set it. He's a goddamn joke, man. He's a puppet. But you know what? We applaud what he's doing. You know, we've been waiting for a devil to really show the true colors of who they are. That's right. To show his horns, so we, we can't be mad at the devil for showing his horns, man. That's right. You know, but he is a puppet, though. Let's not get it twisted. All right. But yeah, the Lord is gonna show show them for what they really are. The Lord told them that men's heart is gonna fail. They'll be turned into a bunch of damn bitches, man. That's right. These are serious times that we in, man. Kind. Yeah. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And with thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. Yeah. See? A lot of breaking wow. up going to be happening. <laughs> yeah. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. Uh, and that when these when these race riots get get to really cracking, all right? When uh 
when the race riots really get to cracking, it ain't gonna uh, Jake ain't gonna be caring about Miss Jenkins being sixty years old, seventy years old. They're not gonna be caring about Darnisha being five years old. She, um, Darnisha's gonna be sodden. She's gonna be cooked. Yeah, all right, yeah, she's well, gonna be eaten yeah. in the siege. Well, Esau, you know, they didn't give a damn about you know about about Jake. You know, uh, if they were old or young, uh, none of that. That's right. Nope. You know. So payback, motherfucker. Cause right. if you if you could, brother, could you get uh, hold hold read finish that? But hold Ezekiel twenty five. Oh, I already got that on deck, my brother. Because you know, <laughs> so lock right if, if please, may I? If I if I may, yes, Elvis. Sir. Yes, sir. The uh, it, it's amazing because as we've been riding through here, I've been marveling at. I've been telling the apostle how, as we're driving, you know, and and how, you know how these neighborhoods are, are basically right upon the woods. And how these Edomites live in the city, but they live in the mostly in the wooded parts, a little bit different. And then how and the only thing to separate them from Jake is the woods and and, and how it's going to be a death trap to them that they live so comfortably off the road, off in these little wooded areas, because no one's going to going to hit them scream. Man. Right. And when the Lord, you know, raise raise uh, Jake up, you know, uh, they're going to be coming through these woods to come get them, That's right. mm -hmm. you know. And they're gonna realize that they don't have enough guns. They don't have enough, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, ammunition or protection. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no, ain't no police, you know, coming to uh, uh, protect yeah. you. That's right. Kind. That's why the the, the, uh, the cost of gun sales is, is is soaring. They're going so high. That's mostly a lot of these these crackers. See, that's why you niggas better wake the fuck up. That's right. You know, you just you know. Again, I did a little show on it the other day. You had this one Jake uh, in Detroit, like how the. The, the elder brother Malcolm was saying how Esau's in the woods and everything, the suburbs and everything. Now he said he missed his bus, which I guess they said the video proved he was he was telling the truth. He missed his bus, so he figured he'd walk his ass to school, and he went along the way that the bus went. But basically, he was walking through a suburban area, a Edomite area. All right, so he he was lost, so he went to the house, knocked on the door. You know, hi, ma'am, I'm lost. Ah! The white bitch starts screaming. What are you doing? Stop trying to break in. Stop trying to rob me. She just started saying all that. And, and you know, the son, he went, boom, he got, got the strap, right? He went, grabbed the, the thing. Bob, Bob just started looking at, at the, the Jake scene. And so he ran, right? And the spirit was with him. He was able to get away. But they started shoot, shooting at you, showing you that it's a difference, man. Yeah. That it's a difference. That it, The animosity and the enmity has always been there. It's, it's prophesied, man. That's right. And that fear, because Demcat yeah. came out a video God. saying how... How that um, all the people in, um, in the in the suburbs and the white neighbors, their biggest fear is for hordes of niggas to come in and uh, and try to come take their food in a time of crisis. Yep. Yes, That's why man. they got all them guns, man. And yeah. I lived in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. I used to go um, hunt to the hunting range and a, and, a, and a shooting range with this one Edomite um, back in the world. And shit, he had a, a big safe, about six foot tall safe. Mm -hmm. Um, wide as hell, filled with nothing but AR-15s, the fucking uh, shotguns, guns, all kind of. He had, he had an arsenal. You know yep. what I'm saying? He could have a standoff with the cops for a nice couple of days, man. So, so you that's think why you gonna fight these motherfuckers? Exactly. That's why we are gonna need the most side, which is the prophecy. Right. We are gonna need the Lord to be with us because you know we you can't beat this man on a carnal level. You got. I heard, heard his rumors of uh, Comfy was had them niggas, you know, which I even shouldn't talk about because he's old news, but. He, he told them niggas, look, we gonna get guns, we gonna go back to Jerusalem, we gonna take take over like. What's his madness? That's madness, man. That's not gonna happen. You can't. Yeah. But that that's what them niggas get for following that nigga, man. I got something real quick. Yo, it's locked. Psalms chapter sixty verse nine. Who will bring me into the strong city? Ooh. Who will lead me into Edom? Will not thou, O Most High, which had his casters off, and thou, O Most High, which didest not go out with our armies? Pretty much the Most High is going to bring us in there. Yeah, it didn't say know? no AK-47. Oh, right. oh, check it out. Give us help from trouble, mm. for vain is the help of man. That's right. Through the Most High we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. You know, not no goddamn guns, man. And, and I love that scripture, man. And that cuts all you stupid ass. You got niggas talking about, you know, just going to sit there and wait for a black man to crack the, the sky. You goddamn right we waiting yes, for the we Lord, are, right? man. That's right. That's the only way you're going to get right. help out of it. You got dudes talking about survival kits and doing all these, look, learn how to operate a gun so you can defend. Man, it goes deeper than that, man. You need We're going to need help from the Lord, man. God. And there's a lot of Jake's, too. I just watched a video on how all these Jake's are applying for concealed carry hmm. and more and more uh, 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 so-called Negroes and Jake's in general 
are buying firearms than ever before yep. because yeah. of Trump. Yeah. And so what that what's that what that's really doing? That's the spirit that that Yahweh was pouring out over the earth, over mainly over America, mm -hmm. to to uh, bring forth these race riots because they're gonna yeah. come. That's true. Come, come. Yeah, there is some Jake's. There's Jake's packing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some Jake's packing. Yep. I, I got some real quick. Hosea one and seven. It says, "But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their power, mm. and will not save them by bow, nor yeah. by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen." Ooh, that's, right. that's, that's straight up, man. That's because right. hey, the Most High, he gonna get the glory. You ain't gonna be able to glory right. in, in your weapon. Look, yeah, I was. You know, niggas, niggas will sit yeah. there and say, "Yo, my aim was so precise, I was on I, point." I took out this many. I took out this many. Right. You yeah. know, see, that's for me going up paintball, paintballing. That's right. Told you I was, I was sick with it. Hey, nah, man. Con, <laughs> you, made, you made me think of yeah, how about Shmuel Shai back in um, in the uh, time of Joshua and so forth, Judges. That's right. He said, you know, when he went to go up to battle somebody. Lord said, no, don't don't send a thousand. Don't Send five thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we'll send only three hundred. All right, now you go send these three hundred because I don't want, I don't want them to say that it was right. by their overpowering might right. that they brought it down. But they they'll know that they had strength through the power. Because right. who gives man power for yep. three hundred men to go take down a ten thousand man army? Yep. It's Yahweh about Shimei was shy. This is Proverbs twenty and twenty two. Say not thou, I will re recompense evil, but mm -hmm. wait on the Lord. And he shall save thee. That's right. Yeah. You know, it's the most high, man. Kind of got a quick one. This is uh, Isaiah 40 and uh, 31. But they that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their That's strength. Right. right. They That's shall right. mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not be faint. That's right. Right. That's right. That's right. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that strength from the most high, that from on high. But the Most High is going to kind of come first with those chariots, man, and decimate Esau, man. He, the Most right. High, always. Uh, what, what's another one that Yahweh Shai said? Uh, um, you all killed, you know, you know, ten thousand, but the Most High's hailstones killed a hundred thousand. Right, Just right. loosely paraphrasing. Okay. The Most High will always, you know, do the lion's share. So the Most High is going because he's a man of war. Yeah, the Lord said that the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's right. Kind, kind. Who's this to come up in these um, garments? Died in Basra. Kind. And a lot of, and not not only that, man. The Most High got these Edomites in the trick bag. Because truth be said, just like them cat said in that video, when when they when the person posted those comments on his uh on his video about being afraid of of, of all these uh, uh, Negroes coming from the ghettos to 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 overrun the the uh, the white populated suburban and wooded areas, the the truth of the matter is is that their own neighbors are gonna be the ones coming for them, man. <laughs> That's right. We're not talking about them on the way up here, man. I was mm -hmm. you know I'm mm -hmm. I'm looking off into the into the you know off into the trees and the wilderness and i see how these edomites got all their little stacks of wood set up so they can have oh, yeah. heat yeah. so they yeah. can cook with and i saw a bunch of uh a bunch of them that had gardens and things of that nature mm -hmm. it, the people that's coming to take that of them your other edomite neighbors that's right mm -hmm. it's going to be the yeah. uh egyptian versus the egyptian yeah they you know that thing on a uh, uh, purge well that too but then there was a move um a twilight zone episode i forgot which one it was but there was one couple on the block that, that built a, a shelter, a bomb shelter, and okay. nobody else built it. So then when, when they gave an announcement that there was going to be something that was going to go down, some bombs or whatever, they went to the shelter, and the other people, look, you got to let us in there, man. You know, I said, well, look, I, I told you when I was building, I told you to build your, you know, but no, y'all didn't want to listen. Right, there ain't right, right. Room was, for yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember the name. The divide, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was called. Oh, no, that's a different one. Now that's the divide is also I mean, the guy. I know what you talk about. Uh, uh, divide. Yeah. They had a, um, uh, he had the man, he had an underground bunker, he had stocked food. Actually, for, he turned the basement, the basement into a bunker. Right, to, right, to a, to a he bunker. He reinforced the doors right, right. and built, built up all kind of steel. Mm -hmm. dirt. He turned the, the, he was the super in the building. Yeah. And he stored up food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the divide, right? That's right. And then as soon as the shit came to hit the fan, people came to go get rescued and they came to him. Yep. That's the same thing. And then what did they do? They came in, overtook him and mm -hmm. killed him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing. Egyptian against Egyptian. It's going to be and Chinese And it was Edomites Chinese. that did it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It was two, yeah. it was two uh, uh, Edomites that actually was corrupted because he mm -hmm. actually had order. Mm -hmm. he, 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 you know, he was rationing, rationing out and everything, the food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right, and so they made it where it was in, impossible. And because we know that, but we know that Esau is not about real order. Yeah. Esau is a devil. Esau yeah. is every it's man for himself. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's this devil. So, so in all reality, when shit really hits the fan, that's how you know they're gonna they're gonna be like, man, fuck that. They got food over there. We gonna go to Billy Bob's house and we gonna overtake their house. That's right. You know, that's how it's, it's gonna be so much. Different chaos going on, man. I, I, 
a wide level, man. That's what they show it in that uh that TV show uh with uh with Negan and uh The Walking oh, Dead. Oh, The Walking right? Dead, the Walking that Negan Dead. character. And I got That's perfect right. scripture now that uh the elder Manatazar said what he said. This is uh Isaiah nineteen and two, and it mm -hmm. says, And I will set the Egyptians right. against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, and city against city, and kingdom against kingdom, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail yep. in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. Like yeah. so they ought to say the Esau really not about order anyway. Yeah, All that right? pump that pump, you know, is gonna yep. they're gonna they're gonna buck, you know, buck against each other. Because right now, they, them them top rich banking families are bucking against each other. Yeah, yeah. You know, but to the average person, nobody knows nothing because they keep that shit under wraps. Yeah, because that's you how know? them, them they all so called Jews, Amalekites, these Edomites, and then you deal with Esau or them so called Jews. You know anything about them? All of them, they yeah. all hey, stop raining. They all split. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to roll back? Yeah, a, yeah, whatever. Hey, you man. Know? Hey, yeah. hey, now we can go right here. We can go right here. Yeah, it's, it's whatever. But I'll just finish this quick point. Yeah, yeah. With a lot of the so-called Jew, Jews, you notice that, you know, they lead the business to their kids or whatever, and then they end up getting into big beefs over everything, and they got to split up the company. Kids start fighting, start infighting. Fighting against, infighting against them. That's yeah. the spirit. They, they're the devil, you know? Yeah. It ain't right. No matter how much money they got, they still don't do it. That's what the devil does. That's what he does. That's what he does. Oh, it's a little button. Hey, so just bear with us. Just bear with us. We're shifting yeah. again because uh, the most I prayed, he'd take the rain away, and he did. <laughs> so we're we going right back to uh, to finish the uh, the sit down here. So just bear with us for a moment. Just bear with us. And it's beautiful, man. They've been putting their hands on the most high's jewels for over four, four to five hundred years. You think that the most high doesn't have a big payback? Revenge? I'm mad. Hey, con. He got down with my girlfriend. That ain't right. <laughs> right. And we're, we're the most high's girlfriend. That's we're right. his wife, man. That's right. You know? That's right. You know? And, and, and you, you, you know, we might sing the song, you know, the, the big payback. That's crazy, man. But it's the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that, that is Won't know the time, time of season. It's a different time that we in, man. That's right. And, and Venezuela was showing the, um, the pastor earlier. Uh -huh. They had um, the, the mountains are in May are snow capped and this yep. waterfall yeah, frozen. Yep. And they have um, um, all this wintry weather and they're like, what the hell is this coming from? Yeah. Why is this not mainstream news? And, and, and meanwhile, while that's happening, you got volcanoes destroying Hawaii, right. yeah, burning yeah. down houses and neighborhoods yeah, and cars. That yeah, I watched that lava, a lava river. Basically, overtake a neighborhood and start burning. And the brothers that's out there, look, the most side got them protected. Got them right. protected. Come. Right. The Lord is beautiful. Yeah, man. And that just kicked up the degrees. 2018, do you have props to air? Because it was it was chilly. It was, it was cool. chilly. Yeah, it did get warmer, right? Yeah, yeah it got okay. warm. Because those, cl those, those clouds man. passed and yeah. now the sun, the, the sun coming through a little bit. Cool. It was a little chilly. It All was. right, so I, I got a piece up. Yep. Uh, let's see. Yeah. No, I, 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 no, no. All right, so. No, because y'all were talking about how how um, you know, Esau is going to be taking other Edomite shit. Because the bottom line is, it's going to be survival of the fit. That's right, you know? Right. Survival of the fittest. And and when people have nothing to lose, like my man uh, Gerald Salente said, when people have nothing to lose, they lose it. That's right. You know, and then when you don't have anything to eat, you're going to go to where there's food, yeah. no matter how you got, you got, you got to get it. You know? That's real. So, so this is Second Ezra 15. I started 14. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another." That's race wars yep. and swords in their hands, and also class wars, like the pastor always brings out. Yep. Class wars is different classes of people. That's right. So you got the middle class, you got the lower class, you got the rich. Yep. So there's going to be class wars. Right. It says, which, is, which is happening now. Yeah. As we speak, that's right. right. You know, that's why they got a lot of that protesting. That's right. You know, you got a lot of uh, all you're seeing when you turn on the, the these talking heads on the, the media outlets, they're all against each other, speaking right. about this one's, you know, this part of the government screwing us over more than this part of the government. You got some of them sitting here trying to, you know, act, look, man, we got to come together, we got to fight, you know. Okay, perfect scripture for yeah. you. This is uh, Isaiah 19 and verse 14 and 15. It says, that yeah, how will have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof? Mm. Yeah, talking about here in America, mm. in Babylon. 
All right, which America is Babylon. Con, okay. right. Not the Vatican. Right. Yeah. yeah so. and, con. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. Man, every work. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what you do, you're fucking up. Your roads, your infrastructure, your schools, mm -hmm. how you set up your grocery stores, how you set up the, the, the delivery of everything. Everyone, when shit really hit the fan, everything is going to fucking be chaotic, collapsing. Everything is yeah. perverse, man. Yeah. The way you set it up to where... Uh, uh, the, uh, the man can't support his family anymore and the wife actually has to leave the house yeah, and go into the workplace. And then you got these women all, uh, all at the workplace uh, uh, working eight, eight, nine hours mm -hmm. sitting in the company of other men all day. Yeah, that's right. And, and which yeah. causes household, households to deteriorate and break up, you know. And, yep. and you, you know, because a woman sitting up here, she spend more time with this guy at work than she do with a man at home. At home. Right. Yeah. And then right. they start getting closer. Next thing you know, they out in the park in the car somewhere getting yep. it on. Yep. Yep. You yeah, know, she's doing overtime. right? I mean, did, did I did we not just go into the, the to the place to get the juice and the coffee? Yep. And the, and the woman's being all over friendly with me, even gave me my coffee for free. Yep. And then I look at her finger, and she's got a big old wedding ring yep. on, man. All of them, man. All right? It's a goddamn shame. That's why. That's funny you say that. Early, right before I hooked up with you, bro, I was meditating. So people don't understand the problem. One of the main problems of this world is these fucking women. Right. All right. The world That's why they see. They can go back. It go like back to yeah. to Eve, right? That's why this, since this woman been exposed yeah, to all these different, you know, different levels, different uh, things that they could be involved in and everything, it done made the world even more fucked up. And that's why this devil allows the so-called white men. I mean, allows the black woman and these other women to get ahead and get into these office jobs, raise them up to bosses and CEOs and this and that, because they know that they're gonna do nothing but create more confusion. God. And, you know? it's, and it's destroying them now because of the Me Too movement. The me, yeah, now the you, me, yeah. now oh, you got man. these high-level executive Edomites and these yeah. men that are actually afraid now because they're getting in trouble for uh, uh, things that they've done with certain women. And you got yeah. guys now that saying they don't want to hire women, right. and so all you attractive women are gonna be left out because you're gonna but, but have. But now the thing is this: when you sit there and say you don't want to uh, hire women that's now, discrimination. now there's discrimination. So they put that's the, the you, that's yeah. the elite. That's why we know that America's circling the drain, man. That's the elites setting up the, the destruction. You got to remember, Esau is a fucking, the scripture say in Habakkuk's spirit, it's not right, that's yeah, in him. Yeah. You know, and the, the elites just want it to be just themselves. That's why they set up, they say, they say, look, these are sheeple. You got a lot of these people, they, they, they work for these Fortune 500. You're still expendable. They might bring home a few million dollars a year on the average, and they're still expendable to the elites, and the elites want to eliminate them. So that's why they set up this trick bag to where they're getting caught up into these hashtags Hashtag Me Too. It's here that you had all these Hollywood directors and everything. They thought they they were insiders, right? Mm -hmm. They were having all these different uh, satanic and occultic parties. parties yeah. But now the, 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 the joke is on them. Now they getting taken down out of power. That's right. So that's how you see that, like the scriptures say, that perverse spirit is, is mixed in Babylon, that's and right. they're all gonna be fighting each other, man. That's you right. see? Right. I got I got some real quick. This is uh. This is um, uh, James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich Jesus. men. Oh. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. That's right. He said miseries. Yep. That means that you're, 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 you're gonna miss, your, your money's going to fail. Yep. That your, um, your, um, all that shit that you're hoarding, yep. that's not going to do no good because you're going to spend half the time at the window trying to stop the people coming in. But you, <laughs> nobody, nobody has enough guns and bullets to stop the shit from happening. Not the hordes yeah. when they come. That's right. You may right. stop the first wave right. or the second. You know, or the second. <laughs> you know, and then they'll they'll pull back and wait till it gets dark and then rush it in. Man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You yeah. know? That's right. It says, uh, your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. In other words, the way you got your riches, yeah. you, you, there's a stain on it. Yeah. You know, and yeah. right now it's the true. Lord is allowing the shameful spewing to come out it's true. and you to be a uh, um, Exposed. Uh, revealed and exposed, yep. Yep. you know, for how you got these riches. So that's a shame. That's right. Right. You know, so it's right. like, all right, you, you, you living high off the hog, you living good, but how did you get there? That's right. You know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, this that's corrupt right. that's that's the right. most high is not going to allow you to prosper on something that was built on corruption. That's right. Oh. Hey, that's what it says. Um, uh, that scripture was uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes gotcha. 10, eight, eight and oh, 10. 10 and 8, is it? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, let me read on. It says, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. So all the wickedness that you've done to get to that to that uh, uh, um, uh, state of being able to not want for anything 
is coming back to haunt you because it says and the rest of them shall be a witness against you that's right now read that ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8 he that diggeth a pit shall fall into it i uh, know uh, in the uh, apocrypha oh please ask it slack it 10 and 8 slide. hey well hey, that, that's good too because they done dug a pit <laughs> Pit for, for everybody, you know. Face first in it. Why you getting that? This is Job 20, 21. There How shall, you know there oh, shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. And the fullness of his sufficiency, Ooh. he shall be in straits. Ooh. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Now you know that word wicked there. That's right. When you go to it, it, re it, it represents those that are oppressed. Laborers. Sufferers. Laborers. Right, sufferers. Because this is when the scriptures speak about the, how has the golden city ceased. The golden city, it, 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 it says in the margin, it says the exactress of gold. Mm. Because they, what they do pretty much is they oppress the people. See, because you could have an oppression on, on somebody by beating them. That's right. But you could also have an oppression on somebody by, by taxing the hell out of them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Ishaqwa in the Hebrew, where you see oppression, and uh, was it truly oppression making the a wise right, man mad? It's Ishaqwa, which means extortion. Now check that out, see? So that's because it, uh, uh, one of, that's one of the main, that's what the scriptures say. If you have a poor man and they and they want something and they ask you and you have it, give it to them. At least yeah. they, they, they curse you, you know, right. and, and complain to the Most High and the Most High here. And they'll be yeah. a witness against you. That's right. That's you know, right. And, and, the, and the cries of the people of Israel is going up to the Most High. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, because yeah, this devil, that's how this whole system runs, man. Like the, the DMV. That's just all the, uh, what's the word you use? Extortion? Yeah. Robbery? Yep. Thievery? It's like they care about the environment. It's yeah. Like you, here you are, you putting lead and all manner of chemicals in the water. Yeah. yeah. Fish yeah. are cr crawling out the crawling water. Crawling out to the, the water. To die. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're making little babies retarded. Yep. yep. That's you know, right. uh, you, you're poisoning us in the food. Autism. You, you're putting the stuff in the sky. Yeah. Uh, and two weeks ago, when it rained, I had just washed my, right. my demon's car, man. Yeah. And, 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 and it started raining and the car was filthy. The first time I hit the wipers and rain comes down, it's supposed to clean. Yeah. Hey, I, 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 when I was a little kid, I've said this many a times. I remember when when it would rain, my mother would give me a rag and tell me to go out there and wipe down the car. Right, right, right. The rain shouldn't bring dirt down from right, the skies, yeah. from the heavens. That's all that middle. It shouldn't be yeah. dirty stuff on your car. It should be clean. Dirty, you should yeah. be able to go wipe yeah. it down. It's and it's like, I ain't have to go to the car wash. Right, right. It's like a free car wash. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, now it's the total opposite. You really gotta go to the car wash. That's right. And that's the shit. Then, then you got the right then you got the uh the, the IRS. All right? Yeah. Oh, that's another that's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Another corrupt another entity. corrupt entity, man. But but, but that but that's you know? what you say as the as the rule of the people are, so are the people. Yeah. yeah. And and their own the own laws yeah. that supposedly govern America make the IRS an illegal entity, that's man. Right. That's the right. Federal it's Reserve is not supposed to be able to operate. Right. And Federal. they and they yeah. basically yeah. are there. And that basically yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, another branch of government which yeah. supersedes uh, uh, the branches of government that you have because no, there's nobody do checks and balances on the Fed. The Fed, right. the Federal Reserve supersedes the president yep. and 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 the, the judicial system, man. Yeah. Yeah. Federal is Federal Express. Man. They got yeah. what plausible deniability? Like, no, there's no accountability. Ability, ability yeah. with them. But that's where the Most High is gonna gonna hold you accountable. That's what we're reading this. Yep. But finish that up so we can get back. Con, con, and, and um, oh, yeah, this is yeah, Sirac, uh, uh, uh ten and eight because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another right so now somebody did uh is that uh that jeremiah so type in the word partridge and okay. search i believe it's jeremiah i can't i can't i can't think of the exact verse but pretty much can you read that again my this is uh sirach 10 and 8 because of unrighteous dealings That's injuries right? and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Because you got to understand, land is wealth. That's right. Huh. You know? So so everything that these devils got is going to be transferred back over to us. Right. There's another scripture in Proverbs. Uh, you can read that when you get a chance. There's another scripture in Proverbs. It says that... that uh, Not to move the landmark. That the Lord, that the Lord said... Um, that they, they're going to they, they're gonna gather riches, but they're going to gather for him that will pity the poor. Mm. Uh, so in other words, you, they're gathering riches, but they're really gathering it for oh, us. That's right. Right, right. You know? That's right. Yeah. This is Jeremiah 17, 11. As the partridge sitteth on eggs and hatcheth them not, so he that getteth riches and not by right uh -huh. 
shall leave them in the midst of his days, mm. and at his end shall be a fool. Right, mm. because that, what's going to happen with those riches? They're going to be transferred. All this wickedness you did to get that, you lived good for a while, but then eventually what's going to happen? It's going to be transferred back to the people of the Lord. Right. That's right. Yeah. I'll read this real quick. I don't think this is the one, but this is uh, Psalms 39 and 6. It says, Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heapeth up riches and knoweth not who shall gather them. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. So, so that's, that's heavy, man, because really, because this devil's not going to be ruling. But his inward thoughts is that he's it, going to continue for generations. But the reality is what? The Most High is, is stopping him. And he's translating power. That's what happened with us. We Power was translated to us, to the so-called white man. You know, because why? That was the curses that the Lord said was going to come upon the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. But now the Lord said that what? Our warfare is accomplished. Right? And it then, then, okay, Slack, I don't know what you got. But then when you go to Jeremiah, the 49th chapter, I'll, I'll, I'll get that. I'll get that real quick in Jeremiah 49. You read that. Proverbs 28 and 8. He that by usury and unjust gain. Is it, isn't that what the IRS yeah. is? Total Big taxes. Time. Total. Read it again. He that by usury and unjust gain. Unjust gain. Okay. Increases his substance. And that's what they're doing. They're increasing their substance there. He shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Right, because they're gathering it for the most high to give to us. You know? And that and that's what's gonna happen. The, the, the Lord is they got they got it. But they're going to give it up and turn it loose. Now, you right. look, flip the sky, this Proverbs 19 and 17. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto Yahweh, and that which he has given will he repay again. So if you was Ooh. actually going to treat somebody yeah. right and, and, and take care of the most highest poor, the Lord will make sure he take care of you. Right. But now you've been so stingy What's that, that it said the great gather, gather enough. You want everything. You want, you everything. want every single right. grape. Not, not, you got to take the grape, the yep. plant, the farm. The, you come down to the, the plantation, it's nothing but a pit. He took the yeah. dirt, yeah. took the roots, the roots yep. to, to everything. everything. The seeds, the whole nine. And then he yeah, put the a seeds. fence up around. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Except like they like put they seeds did, like they did at the, uh, uh, at, at the um, Amistad thing. Yeah. You can't even get to the... To oh, the, now it's a the, fence the over there now? Yeah, yeah. it's a fence. You got to it's, it's, you gotta have the chip to get in there. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, that's what it's all coming down to. Like right now, like you, like with these parks and shit like that. I mean, we, we, make it, we, make, we making jokes and shit, and it's a goddamn shame, man. All right, this is all fucking land, that's man. That's right. God. How the fuck we, why we need a, you to tell us we, if we could come in the past or that's not, right. man? That's right. We don't need no fucking justification for you to come on our land, man. That's but right. this devil being the devil that he is and in power, like you said, not having no mercy, yeah. he wants everything. The reason why he wants to know everybody that comes in here because he wants to know it's about revenue. That's it. How much money, okay, if, if 100 people come here, then I should be making $100,000 on that day. Everything's right. about fucking revenue with this, this devil, man. Right. And, and you know, like I said, the brother making a joke, but eventually, y'all gonna need a damn chip to, to get, get into, get into a park. Yeah. Yeah. You should get into a park, something easy like that, man. That's right. I mean, it's already fucked up. You can't even go to a beach, man. Yeah. Uh, and after ten thirty, after sunset, you can't come to a goddamn beach. Like, oh no, you are not smart enough to not go fall into the goddamn ocean, motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck you. The Most High gave us the sand. He gave us the beaches, man. Yeah. He gave us the parks. We gotta pay to get into the park we came into now. It just happened that nobody was there. When yeah. nobody's there, you can come in. But if somebody was there, twenty ten feet, I saw well, the sign. That's they stupid. Fall. Because. They missing on the revenue because they can't afford to pay that person. Right, right, right. right, right, right. Matter of fact, it, it, it says, look, <laughs> and they have, this is back in Isaiah uh, 19 yep. and 14, and it reads to finish, and then it says, they have caused Egypt to err, and in every work they have, as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. They all in confusion, and, yeah. they, and, they, and they system is failing yeah, them. True. All right, it says, neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Right. There was nobody at the gate. Right, right. right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it said, yeah, yeah. Which, which the uh, the head of the tail branch or rush may do. That's so there was right. nobody there. The system is failing, man. Yeah. Esau can't even keep up with his own mess. Well, yeah. and, and then they then what they're doing too, they are xing out a lot of you fucking little idiots, man. Yeah. They got the remember back in the days the grocery store had five, seven lanes. Why you in my head, Elder? Right? That was two or three people. <laughs> I, I right? Every time I go to Walmart or, or Jules yeah. in Chicago, yeah. you yeah. have like you have fifteen yeah. lanes with only three people, and in those three lanes you got seven, eight, nine people with big ass carts and sitting like goddamn how to wait for is to buy a goddamn thing of water yeah. and I gotta go wait for twenty five minutes just yeah. to go buy a goddamn yeah. water. So, I walk right so, out the bitch, So that man. but that's his devil because here it is if jobs were such a problem, why are you 
replacing jobs that people could do with robots and right. Self, oh, the, right. yeah, the automation and all that stuff, right. self right. self checkouts and everything. And, and Jake is oblivious to what's going on. Yeah, There's a man. McDonald's right. that I always pass in transit on my way to the dojo. All right, and so most of the workers in there know me because I go there all the time. Right. So they already know what I'm going to. Oh, I, I don't eat the food. All I, I may order a coffee, coffee. or a bacon. That's about as much as I'll do. All right. So no, they already know. More than I do. They so so they already so they already know. But it's all fucked. You know. The truth. True. True. Yeah, yeah. But the point is, the the, the one of the managers, um, as I'm, as I'm coming in, she's like she's trying to get me to use the kiosk. And so, oh, okay. and I told her in front of the girls behind the counter, I said, no, I said, every time I use one of, the, I, if I use this kiosk, it's gonna put one of these ladies out of work and they need to take care of their families. Right. And they all was like, and then they, and they all started looking at each other. Yeah. Yeah. I said, they need their jobs. They need to, and I said it loud enough for them right. to hear me. And they fell right. in love right. with Right, <laughs> and, they, and then they take yeah, good right. care of me every time yeah. I come too. And no, that's, no, that's one, you're right, that's the spirit. Look, I you know how to do a, a pickup Uber pickup in McDonald's one time, right? And, and they had to, you know, they, they hired like a little young girl that don't know shit. Her job is just to walk you over to the kiosk and deal with, with that. Mm -hmm. Why you can't just put in, hire another cashier? Yeah. She only works there and she's only limited on what she could do. Only thing she could do is pretty much just bring you there right. or, or try and to help talk. you. Yeah. If you need crops, she's there. Her job is to stand there yeah. and help you phase her out. Yeah. No, no, exactly. Yeah. Right. That's so basically what's what going to happen yeah. if nobody needs her to help her do that? Right. She, she she gone. See, now, now a real person is going to be upset at that and not come to your business mm -hmm. and your establishment. Mm -hmm. So it's going to have actually have an adverse effect because. I'm not going to somebody when they, when I see a kiosk thing. I'm not going to the kiosk. I'm right. going to the person. Right. Right. And then I'm that's not just, going to the machine. Yeah. And then the kiosk is just you punching in more of your information and just giving more ESOL, more more availability and you know, on tracking yeah. you and tracking yeah. your yeah. purposes yeah. and all purchases Facial and knowing where you are. Because right. as soon as you they, come up there, the kiosk they gotta, does gotta, gotta, take they, your picture. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. looking at you. You got a little camera there, and they up there getting all your schematics. I was in Walmart checking out one of them things. And, and I looked up, and and I looked up, and my face is on camera. Yeah, yeah. and well, I was like, "Whoa!" Well, I didn't you know. know. You know what I did one time? I went to Walmart, and then as you walk in certain aisles, the, the the, it says "recording in progress." So what I did was I took my camera and I started recording that, yeah. and I did a video on it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna record you, motherfucker. Right. Hey, boy, so-called white man's wickedness runs deep, man. There's so much, we can we can we can break night talking about all the wickedness that this devil did because you gotta understand the elites they done crafted this thing from years, man. But what they fail to realize is that the Mosai crafted it even before then. Before right. they was even a thought the Mosai set this up how this thing is gonna go down. Well he set them up to be the way. That's right. You know, and this is the reason why all this all this stuff is happening because the Mosai is stirring Jake's spirit up. Yeah, yeah. But you gotta get back to Genesis forty nine. Right. But the yeah. Lord is rousing his spirit up to to uh to fight. That's right. You know? Because Jake Jake is, is that is that old lion right now. Right. Just chilling. Right. You know old lion he, he don't wanna make too many moves. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted to chill. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But he's still dangerous, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you, you cross him, you get him, you get him riled up, and he yeah. will do what he does. That's it. And that's what's happening. I, I got, got Ezekiel real quick. This is Ezekiel chapter 25, okay. uh, verse 12. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, yep. you know, and have greatly offended and revenge himself upon them. And yeah. revenge is for what? All of your jealousy. Because the yeah. Mosai said, um, he's against them that hated us without a cause. We didn't do shit to you. Yeah. We didn't fuck with you at all. Matter of fact, when going back to where you holding us accountable for, is when you sold your birthright. You sold it. Yeah. We yeah. didn't steal it from you. You sold it. Yeah. So it's not our fault. It's your fucking fault that you're a, a mindless fucking reprobate Cain spirit having Going straight contrary against the Most High, man. Right. And yeah. secondly, the Most High set it up that way. That's, That's right. right. He gave you That's the spirit right. to to do uh, right. uh, that one act that put your people yeah. on the bottom. That's, That's right. that right. one thing. So right. you you got so you got a tip. Hey, look, your position is temporary. That's right. it. Right, and, and it's temporal. And, and now you're coming to the time and days and the moments where you're you're being pulled down out of your position, man. That's right. And you're going, and, 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 right. and, and uh, Apostle so Gabar uh, uh, was, was, you know, we breaking bread with uh, Apostle Gabar the other night, man, and, you know, and he, he, and he told us a story how when he was a young, when he was a young lad, when he was all back on the island, how, how uh, uh, he watched the, a sheep and a goat both right. get, right. get put to death, be slaughtered for meals for, to eat. Yeah. And he said how the, how the sheep, uh, um, went, 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 
went right. to sleep peacefully, yep. and the goat went, eh, 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 making right. all that noise, man. Yeah. Right. He said it was a blood curling right. So the goat, you know, and that's Esau. Yeah. You know, the, the sheep goat. and the goats, man. And he saw it carefully with tears, and he was crying like a bitch ass yeah, baby. That's true. And it's not good enough. Yeah, man. Right? <laughs> that's right. So it says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended, greatly offended. and revenged themselves upon them. You know, and that's everything that they did. Whatever, everything they did, people think that it's coincidence, man. Like even going back to the, the uh, Tuskegee the Airmen, yep. right? Ski that was the, right. the Tuskegee Ski Experiment. Right. Uh, uh, down in Puerto Rico when they experimenting with the cancer and purposely yep. giving the women cancer down there. Huh. They, 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 Guatemala. Guatemala. They, they shot, uh, 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 was it syphilis into their spinal cord? To the spinal cord. Herpes, yep. one or the other. Yeah. Into their spinal yeah. cord. Right. And to, and the, the, yep. to the to the people, to the to the jakes down there in Guatemala. And, and they did that on purpose, man. Right. They knew who them people was. Right. It wasn't no a, a coincidence or whatever. Even what they did down there now in Puerto Rico is, is they did it on purpose, man. Yeah, that's right. All right, because basically now Puerto Rico is really finished. Puerto Rico will never go back to being the same. Yeah. You know? Hey, what I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. That, that, that island Vieques. Vieques, yeah. Where they, where they uh, were doing testing, those testing and yep. all that. It's, it's, uh, the brother was breaking it down. A lot of them people that live there, they all, uh, you know, uh, 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 their cancer. children got all kinds of types of cancer. That's right. And you know? Even to the military. As soon as you get to the military, you had to sign a, 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 a forms that allowed them to do testing on you. Yeah. They put, oh, yeah. They put all kind of fucking shit into the soldiers, and they put inject them with this to see what's going to happen to them. They did. And they used the Jake primarily as guinea pigs. No, right? yeah, yeah. Like they used Jake as guinea pigs, pigs, man, to play games with them, man. That's why. That's why the most high is going to get you. You sit up there and uh, experimenting. Uh, uh, with the vaccines, experiment with this drug, that drug, this thing to see what it's going to do and how it's going to affect you down the line. Well, right? I remember um, the brothers from Los Angeles, they had a few of them soldiers right. that came up, yeah. right. you know, that had the chip in them All and everything, right. and they was, they was breaking it out back then. And basically, when you join the Army, what, what's the title that they call you? GI, right. Government Issued. Right. That means you property.